The only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. The unexamined life is not worth living. I cannot teach anybody anything. I can only make them think. There is only one good knowledge and one evil ignorance. By all means marry. If you get a good wife, you'll become happy. If you get a bad one, you'll become a philosopher. Be kind, for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. Strong minds discuss ideas. Average minds discuss events. Weak minds discuss people. Wonder is the beginning of wisdom. To find yourself, think for yourself. Education is the kindling of a flame, not the filling of a vessel. He who is not contented with what he has would not be contented with what he would like to have. Be slow to fall into friendship, but when you are in, continue firm and constant. If you don't get what you want, you suffer. If you get what you don't want, you suffer. Even when you get exactly what you want, you still suffer because you can't hold on to it forever. Your mind is your predicament. It wants to be free of change, free of pain, free of the obligations of life and death. But change is law and no amount of pretending will alter that reality. The children now love luxury. They have bad manners, contempt for authority. They show disrespect for elders and love chatter in place of exercise. Children are now tyrants, not the servants of their households. They no longer rise when elders enter the room. They contradict their parents, chatter before company, gobble up dainties at the table, cross their legs, and tyrannize their teachers. Sometimes you put walls up not to keep people out, but to see who cares enough to break them down. No man has the right to be an amateur in the matter of physical training. It is a shame for a man to grow old without seeing the beauty and strength of which his body is capable. The secret of happiness you see is not found in seeking more, but in developing the capacity to enjoy less. Let him who would move the world first move himself. Contentment is natural wealth. Luxury is artificial poverty. Death may be the greatest of all human blessings. Employ your time in improving yourself by other men's writings so that you shall come easily by what others have labored hard for. The hour of departure has arrived, and we go our separate ways, I to die, and you to live. Which of these two is better only God knows. Do not do to others what angers you if done to you by others. I am not an Athenian or a Greek, but a citizen of the world. Every action has its pleasures and its price. Prefer knowledge to wealth, for the one is transitory, the other perpetual. We cannot live better than in seeking to become better. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. Beware the barrenness of a busy life. Understanding a question is half an answer. Life contains but two tragedies. One is not to get your heart's desire, the other is to get it. 
hottest love has the coldest end. Envy is the ulcer of the soul. Be as you wish to seem. Thou shouldst eat to live, not live to eat. I know that I am intelligent because I know that I know nothing. True wisdom comes to each of us when we realize how little we understand about life, ourselves, and the world around us. The greatest way to live with honor in this world is to be what we pretend to be. To fear death, gentlemen, is no other than to think oneself wise when one is not, to think one knows what one does not know. No one knows whether death may not be the greatest of all blessings for a man, yet men fear it as if they knew that it is the greatest of evils. Be nicer than necessary to everyone you meet. Everyone is fighting some kind of battle. From the deepest desires often come the deadliest hate. Once made equal to man, woman becomes his superior. My friend, care for your psyche, know thyself, for once we know ourselves, we may learn how to care for ourselves. If you want to be a good saddler, saddle the worst horse, for if you can tame one, you can tame all. The beginning of wisdom is the definition of terms. I pray thee, O God, that I may be beautiful within. One should never do wrong in return, nor mistreat any man, no matter how one has been mistreated by him. If a man comes to the door of poetry untouched by the madness of the muses, believing the technique alone will make him a good poet, he and his sane compositions never reach perfection, but are utterly eclipsed by the performances of the inspired madman. Regard your good name as the richest jewel you can possibly be possessed of, for credit is like fire. When once you have kindled it, you may easily preserve it, but if you once extinguish it, you will find it an arduous task to rekindle it again. The way to a good reputation is to endeavor to be what you desire to appear. The really important thing is not to live, but to live well. And to live well meant, along with more enjoyable things in life, to live according to your principles. The easiest and noblest way is not to be crushing others, but to be improving yourselves. He is richest who is content with the least, for content is the wealth of nature. Those who are hardest to love need it the most. In all of us, even in good men, there is a lawless wild beast nature which peers out in sleep. If all our misfortunes were laid in one common heap, whence everyone must take an equal portion, most people would be content to take their own and depart. I only know that I know nothing. The greatest blessing granted to mankind come by way of madness, which is a divine gift. Is it true, is it kind, or is it necessary? Children nowadays are tyrants. They contradict their parents, gobble their food, and tyrannize their teachers. Be of good cheer about death, and know this of a truth, that no evil can happen to a good man, either in life or after death. My advice to you is get married. If you find a good wife, you'll be happy. If not, you'll become a philosopher. Think not those faithful who praise all thy words and actions, but those who kindly reprove thy faults. Esteemed friend, citizen of Athens, the greatest city in the world, so outstanding in both intelligence and power, 
Aren't you ashamed to care so much to make all the money you can and to advance your reputation and prestige, while for truth and wisdom and the improvement of your soul you have no care or worry? All men's souls are immortal, but the souls of the righteous are immortal and divine. The highest realms of thought are impossible to reach without first attaining an understanding of compassion. To be is to do. The mind is everything, what you think you become. I did not care for the things that most people care about. Making money, having a comfortable home, high military or civil rank, and all the other activities, political appointments, secret societies, party organizations which go on in our city, I set myself to do you, each one of you, individually and in private, what I hold to be the greatest possible service. I tried to persuade each one of you to concern himself less with what he has than with what he is, so as to render himself as excellent and as rational as possible. To move the world, we must move ourselves. To know thyself is the beginning of wisdom. Virtue does not come from wealth, but wealth and every other good thing which men have comes from virtue. He who is unable to live in society, or who has no need because he is sufficient for himself, must be either a beast or a god. There is no solution. Seek it lovingly. Through your rags I see your vanity. The misuse of language induces evil in the soul. Wisdom begins in wonder. Not life, but good life is to be chiefly valued. The only thing I know is that I know nothing and I am no quite sure that I know that. It is better to change an opinion than to persist in a wrong one. When you want wisdom and insight as badly as you want to breathe, it is then you shall have it. God takes away the minds of poets and uses them as his ministers as he also uses diviners and holy prophets in order that we who hear them may know them to be speaking not of themselves who utter these priceless words in a state of unconsciousness, but that God himself is the speaker and that through them he is conversing with us. Intelligent individuals learn from everything and everyone average people from their experiences. The stupid already have all the answers. Living well and beautifully and justly are all one thing. And therefore, if the head and the body are to be well, you must begin by curing the soul. That is the first and essential thing. And the care of the soul, my dear youth, has to be affected by the use of certain charms, and these charms are fair words, and by them temperance is implanted in the soul, and where temperance comes and stays, their health is speedily imparted, not only to the head, but to the whole body. One who is injured ought not to return the injury, for on no account can it be right to do an injustice and it is not right to return an injury or to do evil to any man however much we have suffered from him. Are you not ashamed of caring so much for the making of money and for fame and prestige, when you neither think nor care about wisdom and truth and the improvement of your soul? Give me beauty in the inward soul. May the outward and the inward man be at one. There is no greater evil one can suffer than to hate reasonable discourse. 
My plainness of speech makes them hate me, and what is their hatred but a proof that I am speaking the truth? Well, although I do not suppose that either of us know anything really beautiful and good, I am better off than he is, for he knows nothing and thinks that he knows. I neither know nor think that I know. To express oneself badly is not only faulty as far as the language goes, but does some harm to the soul. It is a disgrace to grow old through sheer carelessness before seeing what manner of man you may become by developing your bodily strength and beauty to their highest limit. Be true to thine own self. Are you not ashamed of heaping up the greatest amount of money and honor and reputation, and caring so little about wisdom and truth and the greatest improvement of the soul? One thing only I know, and that is that I know nothing. May the inward and outward man be as one. The more I know, the more I realize I know nothing. Wealth does not bring about excellence, but excellence makes wealth and everything else good for men, both individually and collectively. Be as you wish to seem.